Good morning, students. I just wanted to go over with you how to open up the data sets for SPSS assignments. There's been a little bit of confusion about what you're supposed to do with these files, so I wanted to go over that with you. Now I do want to say that GCU is requiring you to use SPSS. Prior to this course, I have never used SPSS either. I'd never even heard of it. It is something that is new to me. I am not personally the one requiring it. It is required by the department and by the school. If you call tech support for help on SPSS, they should be able to help you because it is provided through the school. If you call and ask them for help on these data files, they should be able to help you with them. But if they can't, that's fine. I'm helping you with them right now, but your other option is going to be to type the data in yourself. Every other student taking this course probably has to type the data in themselves. Those instructions are in each week's exercise. That's how I got the data to type them in for you. So these sets right here, I was trying to do you a favor by typing them for you ahead of time, and then you just had to open them. By all means, just type the data in yourself if you're having trouble opening them. That's all that I did. I read the exercise, got the data, typed it in. So DCU should be able to help you with that, but if they can't, then that's fine. You do have to type it in yourself and you do have to use SPSS. But I'm going to show you the confusion on these. If I were to click Module 1 SPS Data, it's going to ask me if I want to open it or save it to my computer. I'm going to choose Save It to My Computer because I do not have a program on my computer that will open this file. If I browsed, it's going to be confused. It has no idea what to use to open up that file. The only thing that will open up that file is SPSS, which you have access to through the Citrix receiver. So I am going to save that file. Like I said, even on my computer, if I opened it, whether I use a PC or a Mac, makes no difference. My computer will not know what to do with that file, just like I'm sure yours won't. So what I'm going to do now is navigate to that file. Here it is right here. I'm going to try to open it. Again, it's confused. It has no idea how to open up that file. I have nothing on my computer to do that. Why? Because I don't need that. What I want to do is use the Citrix receiver on my computer, not the one online. Maybe that's the one that's causing some problems. But I want to use the Citrix receiver that I downloaded earlier. I'm going to log on to it. There I am, and I'm going to click SPSS. This is now connecting. For me, it takes a little while to get it connected, and then it starts acting really slow at first. You have to remember that it's connecting to an outside server to get to that program, so it's not just on your computer at this point. The receiver is all that's on your computer to get that program. So you can see it opening up in the background there. All right, and there we go, it opened up. So you can see I've already opened up the files over here, so they're just sitting there. If I were doing this for the first time, I would have to click open another file and give it a second to find that, there we go. And then I would click open and give it another second. Remember, this is going to another server outside of your network, finding the program, then coming back to your computer, so it does take it a minute. Now, it already found my data sets because I've already done this before. For you, you might have to look through here to try to find where your data sets are. Now, if you just click desktop, that might not mean your computer desktop. That might mean something connected to the server that the Citrix program is pulling this information in. Like, for example, you can see the path to my data sets here. I had to go, see, because you can see that this is local disk right here, because I'm connected to their computer. I know that might sound confusing, but it takes a minute to find where your data sets are. You can see down here, my path is network, client, C$, dollar sign users, Christina, documents, and then GCU. And I had to go all that path to find my actual data set. 
If I actually take a look at this and think back, the very first time that I opened this, I think I was in my GCU folder right here. Um, and that might be where you are. And when you click that and you click desktop, that's not your desktop. So if, you're, if you saved those files to your desktop, that's not actually your desktop on your computer. If you look at the path, that's probably your GCU desktop. You don't have anything there. That's a server way out somewhere in Arizona. Th this is what that brings up when I open up that, that location. Your desktop is probably this local disk. I have two different hard drives on my computer. This is probably your desktop right here. Sorry, your, your connection right there. So then you're a user this is me and now this is where your com your files start to look more like what's on your computer so then from that location you go searching for where you saved your data files to um, they won't be on that first location because that first location is looking for your GCU virtual computer area but you don't have anything else on there. Your stuff is on your local hard drive. So you gotta go find your local connection. For me, it was C colon, my desktop. You, you gotta go in there and find your data files and then you can open them. I really do hope that this video helps and that that was the problem that some of you were having. GCU tech support should have been able to help you with that. This is my first experience using SPSS, but they actually installed the program. So they should have been able to help you with that, but maybe they were confused about the local versus remote area. I, I don't know, but um, if that's the problem that you were having, hopefully this did help you find your location. Please feel free to post in the individual forum if you have any other questions on that. God bless.